In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to apply Febron hair fibers for the very first time. I'm going to tell you about the product and then I'm going to show you how I would apply it. Stay tuned. Hey, my fellow follicle friends, here's my name is DJ from Carrots and Brotherhood. Welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I kind of exclusively use topic hair fibers. Um, and that's really what I've used the whole time I've been using hair fibers for almost five years now. I know a lot of you were asking about different hair fibers. And so in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about Febron. Give you my first impressions about it. And then I'm going to look at it a little more closely to see how the fibers look um, compared to topic, the actual composition of the fibers. And then I'll show you how I would apply it because actually I've, I've never applied these fibers before. It's my first time to try Febron. So uh, I'll be learning as we go. I ordered the sample. This one is the black. I live in South Korea, so ordering this from the United States took about maybe seven days to get here. Tells you the color on the outside so you can see that. Um, pop it open. What is this? Uh, oh, okay. An instruction guide for those of you who've never used a hair fiber before. Uh, here you go. It shows you how to use the hair fibers. And, yeah. uh, so I guess that's useful. I mean, if you if you're ordering a sample of this, you probably never used the product before, so you might want an instruction. Um, but me, this guy does not look like me. He does not have my hairstyle, and I already know how to put on hair fiber, so we're just gonna chop that. Now the sample bottle itself is actually quite small. You can see it's a pretty small size. If I hold it up next to the topic, uh, this is the smallest size of daily use topic, not the travel size. This is just the smallest bottle, and so you can see the difference here. This is 12 grams. And this is unknown. It doesn't even tell me how, how much is in it. Let's go ahead and open this up. You can see it's the exact same bottle style. Uh, you got your sieve here on the top. Pull the sticker off. There you go. And, um, okay. Wait, let's hear that. I've never heard that with Topic before. Maybe like a, like the silica gel maybe? I don't know. We can just pull the top off like that, right? Pull it off. And there you go. It comes with its own, uh, what do you call it, shit? Did, oh, fuck, dude, I just spilled, hold on. <laughs> you know, that stuff, you find in like shoe boxes and stuff, it comes inside of here. And the amount that's inside of the bottle is actually hard to see. From my experience, this is enough for about four or five uses, so it's a pretty good amount for a sample, right? Now what I wanna do is I actually wanna pour them on a piece of white paper so we can actually see the consistency difference between Topic and Febron. Uh, but just how it looks, it seems almost like they're almost exactly the same. So I think another thing that's really important about these hair fibers is how they react to water. Let's start with the Topic hair fibers, see how they go into the water, and then we'll look at the Febron fibers and see how they do. I don't know what to, what to make of that. There's still some fibers on the top of the water there, you can see. Okay, so I don't know what that is about. I don't know why the Febron hair fibers just sunk to the bottom as soon as they hit the water, but what I'll do is I'll link the video up here. You can click the card to see the detailed video about how to apply hair fibers, uh, where I talked about how I put the top of hair fibers in. I'm not gonna go into detail here. I'm just gonna go through the steps and jump straight in, okay? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to apply these Febron hair fibers. We'll see if we can get them to apply the same way that Topic does. Uh, like I said, I used Topic for a long time and I kind of think I know how to use it like an expert. But I've never used Febron before, so we're gonna see just how well I can apply these hair fibers. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do, if you have your, your oil pomade, use it now, or you can use your oil product, that's fine. Like I said, it's just the oil. So any kind of product that has oil uh, should work just fine. And I made a video about the different products that you can use if you don't have black castor oil pomade um, there's some other like uh, substitutes that you can use so I'll put those in the link up here or here I don't know what side it is but anyway all right so oils in go ahead and put on the wave cap all right and blow dry all right go ahead and brush what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this camera so you guys can see I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, so remember, when you apply the hair fibers with the oil, you wanna make sure they're using the, the tap and pull method, okay? If you don't know how to use the tap and pull method, I'll put the link up above. You can click that and go see how to do it. But, oh shit. <sighs> Yo, 
this hair fiber is super light, man. I mean, I know they're all powders, but like, if Topic is like a um, sugar or a salt, this is more like a cornstarch or maybe even powdered sugar, like in the way that it comes out. Cause it, you saw it just dumped right there, dude. Yeah, um, try to work that in. Yeah, be careful with that. It's really light though, that's crazy. Go ahead and put it in here. Tap and pull, tap and pull. Yeah, don't tap too hard with this. It doesn't require a heavy tap to get it to come out. It comes up pretty easily. Yeah, see it's dumping right there. Yeah, it, it dumps easier than Topic does. That's something to be aware of if, you, if you've never used Febron and you bought Febron instead of Topic. It does seem to have a tendency to dump. And I think it's because it's so fine and so light compared to Topic. It might just come out that way, but it's making it kind of inconvenient to, to put in. You gotta use a bit more finesse. I'm gonna switch sides here. Hmm. Yeah, see that dark spot right there? Okay, so I think I got the bat. Uh, shit, hold on. Lower. I notice these, these fibers tend to fly in the air a lot more than Topic does. All right, so let's go ahead and try to do the top also. Top, same thing, tap and pull. Okay, I'm gonna turn this so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Whoa, hold on. The holes, actually, this is Topic. The holes are different sizes, see that? So, which could explain why it's dumping. I'm gonna try switching the tops. So now I got the Topic hair fiber top on the Febron hair fibers. So let's go ahead and go again. Whoa, <laughs> that didn't help at all. Uh, no, I don't know, it just probably made it worse. Yeah, it's dumping, it's dumping. So I'm gonna stop right there. Like I said, it's not terrible, but as you can see it's patchy. I mean, it's not bad. Definitely I need to practice. Uh, I can't say that they're terrible, but uh, it's my first time using them and I'm not used to how easily they just fall. So let's go back into the room and I'll give my final thoughts about the Febron hair fibers. All right, so first things first, do I like the Febron hair fibers? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know if I like them or not because when I put Topic in, I can easily meter how much Topic fiber is coming out. I don't know how to describe it, but it doesn't uh, necessarily dump unless you hit your head with it or if you really shake it. The Febron fibers feel like a like a powder, like really fine powder. Even though you look at the pictures, the fibers look identical. Um, when you actually put them in water, you can see that the Febron fibers sink immediately. I don't think it's because they're dissolving, because you can see them settling at the bottom. But it almost is like it's just a finer powder, and you, it, that kind of that fine powder shows itself when you try to put them into your hair. So uh, application, I mean, you can see back here, it's a bit uneven. I'm gonna be blunt, I don't think it's for a black guy. Because the fibers are so fine that it it makes it really hard to use with a oil product. It, it dumps. Like you saw, as soon as I put on top, it just dumped. And when it dumps like that, it clings to the oil and it doesn't move. I think that the consistency of Febron is better, it's lighter. Even just shaking, it feels lighter than Topic, like airier, but I would say that uh, the top hair fibers are more consistent for application, meaning that they apply the same way and they are, it's, they're very predictable. And I'm also curious about if it rains, like how water would do with this. I, I might have to do a water test. The color of the fiber, it seems to be a bit blacker, if that makes sense. It's a, it's a deeper black, like a jet black, where the top of hair fibers almost have like a grayish uh, sheen to them, which gives it a bit of an unnatural look. But these fibers seem to kind of just absorb light, like a black hole, which is just black, um, which some might think it just looks unnatural that way. To me, it looks a bit unnatural. So it's not really my style. What's my decision about Febron hair fibers? Well, if you're a Febron user and you you, you love your Febron hair fibers, cool. Uh, but I will tell you that for me, it's not necessarily the best fiber. I think I'm gonna stick with Topic. In this case, if I have to choose one or the other, not because of the name, Topic, but mostly because uh, I've been using it and I know how consistent and predictable it is. And that's important for me because I don't want to have to do with any surprises. If you use Febron hair fibers and you like them, uh, drop a comment down below. Tell us, you know, your hair type. Tell us how old you are. Also tell us uh, what products you use with the, fe the hair fibers uh, because I think it's important to understand that each hair fiber is created differently. Even though they look identical, they are actually quite different. And so in the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try out Kaboki. And so we'll see how well this does in another video. I'm DJ from Keratin Brotherhood. I'll see you guys in the next video.